Happening now, five people recovering tonight from a violent crash in San Mateo. A car hit a group of special needs students. Police say it happened at about 1030 this morning. They say a black Acura on West Hillsdale Boulevard jumped the sidewalk. It hit a student teacher and three special needs students from Hillsdale High School. Tree trimmer Herman Cabanez was working in the area. He saw the crash. She just got hit, uh, she hit the wind, windshield, and then the other kid got hit, he, he got hit, but she just jumped the, the car and fall on the back of the car. Police say all those involved are in stable condition, none with life-threatening injuries. This is video from our helicopter partnership with ABC7. Those hit were part of a group of 15 special needs students and five teachers who were out on the field trip. Tonight, there is a great deal of concern for those injured. Crown Force J.R. Stone is live in San Mateo. He spoke with students and parents from the school and has more reaction to what happened. J.R. Well, Pam, students and parents certainly concerned here. Tonight, though, we want to talk with Amanda Stender, uh, who joins us. And you are best friends with the teacher who was involved in this accident. I know you spoke with her earlier uh, today. What did she say? How is she doing? Um, she's doing, I mean, I shouldn't say she's doing good. She's in good spirits. Uh, she has two broken legs, and when I spoke with her, she was about to go into surgery. Uh, but she's in great hands, and um, she's in, like I said, really good spirits, so I think she'll be fine. Um, you know, when I talked to her, it was just like every other phone call we have, and it, it really made me happy to hear her voice and know that she was okay. Um, I'm just glad that her and her students are, you know, alive and everyone is going to be okay. Um, so, you know. Yeah. I know, you know, when we were speaking before, you said you, you spoke with her on the phone and, and you talked about what she told you when you asked her about what happened during this accident. Right. Yeah, I asked her if she remembered what happened, and she told me that she doesn't remember anything, but she knows she was on a windshield and that she saved three kids. Um, so that made me smile. Um, it was a really heartwarming thing to hear because, you know, she is actually probably the sweetest, most kind-hearted person I know um, and you know it's not out of her character at all to jump in front of kids in front of a moving car so I wouldn't picture it any other way although it's very sad um, you know sure. what happened well and it's great that you're able to smile tonight because when you first got the news I know we were talking before yeah. uh, a bit nervous over things but to think that your friend uh, was able to help out and although is in surgery right now uh, is gonna be okay yeah, I mean, it's definitely very nerve-wracking um, to think that we were together in a wedding last weekend and, um, you know, a few days later this happens. Um, but just to know that she's okay, um, it's I couldn't be happier. Um, like I said, you know, it could be much worse. Yeah. Could be a, it, it would be better if she didn't break any bones, but, you know, yeah. she did save the kids, so yeah. I know she'd be happy about that. Well, certainly, Amanda, we want to thank you for joining us. And uh, one quick note, Amanda was telling me earlier that the two of them were singing happy birthday on the phone to another friend, so her spirits are there, a couple broken legs, but still remains positive. Now, back to you in the studio.